So here I am, <coughs> heading toward Salem Cemetery, going north on this very desolate, dark road. Very bumpy. Should be there in about five minutes. I hope the spooks are waiting for me. Okay, next stop, the cemetery. Okay, the road is closed, but I have to ignore the sign. It's the only way to get to the cemetery. Perhaps I'm doing this illegally, but there seems to be no officer around to arrest me. So, we're getting closer now. Okay, so here I am at the cemetery. My camera is resting on a tombstone. And, uh, well, it is light up here. Lit up here, it's a few street lights. But it was certainly dark on the way up. So, what I hope to see is some slithering spirits, hovering spirits, that's what the girl said, the lady said in the paper. Slithering, hovering spirits across the grave, uh, grave sites. Oh, we'll see. Push my luck, okay. So here we go, we're gonna go on a little tour now. Okay, my camera and I. Okay, I'm venturing into the cemetery. I don't have my flashlight on. It's all the headstones. I don't see any spooks. Okay, I'm just uh, scanning these headstones. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up this very dimly lit situation here. I can see it in my naked eye, but I'm looking for slithering spirits. But who knows? I guess I'll just keep looking. See nothing so far. I don't know. Seems to be something over there. Maybe the camera is picking up the sound. It's a very sensitive instrument. It can detect audio that humans cannot. Okay, now I got my flashlight on. Scanning. Again, no slithering spirits. Uh, I'll keep looking, keep trying. I'll go to the church soon and give it a try over there. Okay, more video. I can't see anything in the monitor screen. I just hope it's recording. Street light showing on the street. On that desolate road. The only reason for those street lights is for this cemetery. Okay, I'm holding the flashlight. See if anything shows up. Uh, they're all afraid of me. So here I am at the, the gates. Apparently they, some people have reported the sighting of a young girl standing by the gates. But I see nothing because it's dark. But I do hear the sound of coyotes in the background. Actually, they're quite loud. Oh, they're not coming this way. Yeah, can you hear those? The coyotes? There's the church. I'm going to have to take my word for it. Church window. There we are. But I'm too short to get my camera up there to take a picture of the inside. Actually, I think you'd have to be about eight feet tall. Oh, okay. okay, here's the old tree in front of the church. Come across. There's the church again. I just hope this camera is picking it up because I can't see it. 
Okay, I'm holding the flashlight and the camera at the same time. Very difficult, but there we have it. The church door. How many people have entered into that church in mourning of someone they love who is buried in this cemetery? And I should mention that today is Remembrance Day. And uh, I'm sure there are some veterans of World War I and II buried somewhere in this cemetery. I respect to them. Okay. So now I'm going into the uh, east sector of this uh, cemetery, Salem Cemetery. Again, I'm trying to find the uh, headstone or ground stone of Manique Sagers who passed away. Ooh, I think it was 2005. Bye. For now. So here we have a headstone at the extreme north end of the cemetery, east side. And now I hear some crows calling. Maybe they're guarding the cemetery. Are they crows or ravens? Must be crows. I tell you, it's quite loud though. I don't like that at all. Okay. Okay, I don't see any slithery spooks, but I'm still hearing those crows in the background. I don't know what they're up to. There must be sentries for the cemetery. I certainly haven't purposely offended anybody that I know of. And my respects for all these sleeping once upon a time humanities. Uh, see no slithery spooks. I'm ready for them, but they don't seem to be ready for me. Okay, and, and I'm still in quest of uh, many says headstone. But those crows are getting on my nerves. Okay, I'm trying to hold the flashlight steady here. Just an infant baby buried here. Never know. Could be diphtheria, whooping cough. Back then. I can make out the date. Maybe my camera can see it. Uh, those crows are getting on my nerves. So here's a tombstone called. The name is Peg. P E G G. Uh huh. Interesting. Can't read it too well. Hope I can read it later when I look at these on, on my computer. I'm trying to hold the flashlight steady here. And somebody left a pair of sunglasses on this tombstone. That's interesting. Either it's just a, an oversight or there's a significance to it. I don't know. Okay. So I think that's the end of my spook hunting expedition. Came up empty handed this time, so I head back to the car. But haven't given up. Come back again some other night. Perhaps when the full moon is out. And I can see better what I'm doing. As I said before, I hope the camera is picking all this up because down deep in the graveyard, the cemetery, there's really not much the human eye can see. So okay, there's the car. Okay. Getting closer to the car. That's the end of the evening here. And I think it's about 12.30 a.m. I thought this would be good spook time, but it seems not to be. So, may you all rest in peace. I'll catch up with you someday. Goodbye. Okay, I'm on my way back to South Ajax. Civilization. Good night. Thank you for not cooperating with me. Would have scared the pants off me. Goodbye. Okay. Right through here first. Now, goodbye.